Justin Thomas reflects on dwindling Ryder Cup hopes after missing another major cut. This year has not been kind to Justin Thomas, especially with his performance at the majors. The two-time major winner missed his third major cut Friday after his 11-over 36-hole score at the Open Championship. He finished tied for 65th at the PGA Championship in May. Thomas has just three top 10 finishes this year and is on the outside looking in at not just the FedEx Cup playoffs, which he won in 2017. With his recent play, a potential third straight Ryder Cup appearance is also in jeopardy. Obviously, I want to make the Ryder Cup more than anything, Thomas said at Royal Liverpool Friday. I'm probably honestly trying too hard to do it. It reminds me a lot of my first or second year on tour. I tried so hard to make that team for the first time. I'm in a very similar position. The top six American players in the FedEx Cup standings automatically qualify. Thomas ranks 13th in that group. He's 75th overall, and the top 70 make the playoffs. Captain Zach Johnson will get six picks of his own, leaving him with a tough decision to make. Jordan Spieth, Colin Morikawa, Keegan Bradley, Tony Finau, and a resurgent Ricky Fowler are also on the bubble. And while Dustin Johnson ranks 35th among Americans due to playing in LIV, he has played in five Ryder Cups, and his veteran leadership could be a plus. I've been trying to make it easy on Zach and get in the top six, but I seem to not want to do that with my golf, Thomas acknowledged. Have a couple events left to try to get in the playoffs and then make a little bit of a run and try to prove a point. Thomas will be under consideration, given his performances at the tournament and the President's Cup. He has a 6-2-1 record in his two Ryder Cup appearances, with maybe his most impressive win coming in his singles match against Rory McIlroy on the road in 2018. Thomas and Jordan Spieth are 4-2-1 in their 17 matches. The President's Cup doesn't have nearly the same hype or pressure, but Thomas has a 16-5-3 record overall there. His record with Spieth is 8-2-1. I would like to think that my record is my best argument, Thomas said. I love the team events. I thrive in them. I just enjoy it. Playing with a partner could kind of ease me a little bit, relax me. I hate even having to hope for a pick. This is the first time since I first qualified that I've had to rely on a captain's pick, and it's not fun, especially when you're trending the wrong way when other people are trending toward it. But I'm just hoping that I can finish this year out strong and my record speaks for itself. Thomas shot an 82 Thursday in his first round that ended with a quadruple bogey after he hit back-to-back -back greenside bunkers. He's had more rounds in the 80s than made cuts at the majors this year. Brian Harmon owns the lead through two rounds at 10-under.